Next we go for uh, asteroid, it is A. 1.47 plus 1.73 into 11. So we get here 20.5. Next for planet, the last one 2.57 plus 1.17 into 11. So here we are getting for this 15.44. So individually we have got Ri, Ri for S, Ri for N, like that we have got it now. So we have to go for expected portfolio return. So instead of uh, weights as WR, I have taken it as, uh, uh, instead of uh, ER, I have taken as Ri and instead of uh, WI are taken as XI. So RI into XI of first company, RI and uh, XI of the second company, that is Neptune, RI and XI of uh, the third one and the last one. So when it be multiply each one of it now, so one by one and go for it. So, I will substitute 10.4 into 0 0.25 So how you got 0 0.25 Look at the first paragraph of the problem They are given that the investment is spread equally over stocks So equally is 4 stocks are there So 1 by 4 that is 0 0.25 each So that is what the XI, XI is common for all That is 0 0.25 for each one of it so I'll just substitute for each company therein so I'm taking each company 10.4 into 0 0.25 17.55 into 0 0.25 20.5 into 0 0.25 and the last one 15.44 into 0 0.25 so we have to simplify so multiply each one of the combination and go for adding all so you will get here return on portfolio as 15.44 973. So we have to simplify and we have to go for finding the portfolio return that is RP. This is the first part of the question. The second one is calculation of portfolio variance. So it has uh, several parts there. So variance is standard deviation square I have taken of the portfolio. So here the summation of XI into BI square. Summation of Xi and Bi square multiplied by the variance of market. Then plus summation of Xi square and Bi square. Bi square is residual value. Xi is the one what we have calculated here. That is the equal weightage, the square of it. So instead of working together, first portion I will work in working two. The second portion I will work in working three. Then the results of that I will add it over here, it becomes easy for working. So I have taken the first part of it here. Summation xi and bi square into the uh, variance square of the market. So let me substitute the values uh, of each company. There are four companies, we have to substitute very carefully there. xi for each company. 0.25 then beta of this each company zero point nine three again xi and bi of the second company Then beta of the third company and beta of the fourth company
So whole square. Whole square I have put. Then multiplied by twenty six. That is what is given as variance of market. I have written here as twenty six. So let me simplify. Point two five into zero point nine three like that. Zero point two five. Two three two five. Then zero point two five into one point three seven. Zero point three four two five plus zero point two five into one point seven three. That comes to zero point four three two five plus zero point two five into one point one seven. Zero point two nine two five. Add all this, multiply by twenty six. So if you do so, one point three square into twenty six, one point three. If you add all the four values, square that into twenty six. So one point six nine into twenty six, forty three point nine four is the value of this. So you have to simplify very carefully, and we have to check at every level are you working properly. The next one is summation of x i square into the residual value. Again, we have to go for each company separately. So I have done like that only here: s company, n company, a company, and p company. So like that only we have to go for. Individual working. So let me start with x i square here. Point two five square multiplied by forty five point one five. This is one set. So this is for the first company, that is S company. Next company zero point two five. Square into one thirty two point two five. This is I told this is nothing but residual variance. The value is given here in this uh, particular uh, column. Zero point two five square multiplied by one ninety six point two eight. Again, zero point two five square multiplied by fifty one point nine eight. So we have to go for simplification very carefully. Point two five square, we get a value into forty five point one five. We have to do so. Two point eight two will be the value. Point two five square into one thirty two point two five. What did you get? Eight point two six five six like that for the third company. Twelve point two six seven five for the fourth company. Three point two four eight seven. So the value at the end after adding all twenty six point. Six zero four. So simplify carefully and come to this value. So I have calculated now working two and working three. Both these values I have to take it over here for the calculation of portfolio variance. Forty three point nine four plus twenty six point six zero four. If we add both, I will get. Seventy point five four four. So this is portfolio variance. If I have to calculate the standard deviation for this, I have to go for uh, The value that is square root of the 
variance 0 0.399. So SD after finding the portfolio variance, we can also find SD that is the square root of variance. So 70.544 square root will be 8.399.